when do you stop playing the game? You know, maybe not quit, not a, maybe not completely get out of it, but when do you finally stop acquiring? When is enough enough? And my friend, which to protect his anonymity, I'll call him uh, Duty Robson, laughs every time he hears me say this, but I kind of really think I'm, I really think I'm about good, at least on major pieces. Oh, and by the way, totally busted Apple Watch. Multiple courtrooms, multiple jurisdictions this morning, so, you know, there's still a place for it. I, let's see, I picked up a, uh, a vintage Cartier and a vintage Movado. I also had a couple of close calls with a couple of pawn shop Cartiers. Now, there's an unofficial back alley agreement between pawn shops and the local used uh, watch reseller down the street, and I'll just call him Cheap Charlie. But more or less, the pawn sh Cheap Charlie will authenticate luxury pieces for all the pawn shops in the area. They, in turn, are expected to send people to him if they want to outright sell a piece rather than simply pawn it. So it kind of works out better for everybody, with the exception of people that want to outright buy used Rolexes, because you know, he ups the price as part of as part of the bargain. But we won't even talk about Jewelers Magical Shelves. Where was I? Oh yeah. Anyway, so one of the things I'd kind of gotten used to was local pawn shops in my area having their stuff authenticated. Fortunately, I dodged a bullet and found a, like what I thought was a Cartier uh, Santos and a Cardio Take France, France, which turned out to be not authentic. Thank God for buyer visa buyer protection. So, refund and refund. But and oh yeah, and there's still the uh, there's still the nearby. Uh, 142, 70, 36 millimeter Explorer 1, but, eh, you know, at one point, at one point do you stop? You know, at one point do you quit saying just one more piece? Now, keep in mind, I'm saying slowing down, I'm not saying getting out of the game exactly, because Uberoki is looking through, is still looking on the hunt for a uh, Speedy 321 the actual moon watch that he sold to someone 30 years ago. And I think he's down to the last couple of stash watch stashes this guy had. So come on, Uber. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'll be waiting for news this weekend. Yeah, big time. And of course, uh, occasional vintage bargain or two from Uber Oki and uh, his pocket, uh, pocket jeweler. But I can't really see any more grill pieces. I can't really see, you know, I, with the exception of the 321, I don't really see having a watch in my sights that I'll spend thousands on. Hundreds, maybe. Maybe. But at what point does a serious collector finally say, enough? What's that point for you? So I'm not going to say I'm never going to buy another watch, because... That way, duty will quit laughing hysterically. But uh, I'm kind of wondering what everyone else has to say on the subject. When is enough enough? When do you simply, when do you simply just enjoy what you have and quit, quit uh, casting your eyes longingly towards um, Chrono Twenty Four and Craigslist and Offer Up and the other places? Friday afternoon, I've made it through another week. Thank God. Thank God for Visa Buyer Protection, and come on, Uber Oki. Have a good week. Oh, uh, and uh, also, you probably noticed I haven't been live streaming as much with, uh, you know. And he's going through some personal stuff. Death of his friend Murray. Possibly having to get an extended supply of soap on a rope. And to be honest, that's not even as fun as it used to be. Maybe it's time to kind of you know, back to life, back to reality. 
have a good weekend and maybe start all this crap behind me.